Here we go guys, this is the S&T TAR21 in black. Um, today we're going to open this up and um, see what's inside this guy. Um, as you see it has the uh, trademarks here. Also nicely engraved is uh, made in China. Uh, that's always a plus. Not. Um, overall the quality of the gun um, is definitely not... Um, Aries Tavor quality as you can see like uh, the body seam is uh, very noticeable um, there's a few differences that I see so far one is uh, this screw here um, this screw here um, the way this uh, magazine catches um, that appears to be different uh, the body seams down here at the bottom are definitely not as nice um, see overall you can tell the difference um, the magazine is very very tight um, you can see it's actually left marks on the magazine just from putting it in um, this gun is brand new um, I'm gonna pause the video and start taking this thing apart uh, all right I got most of it disassembled right now um, have not pulled out the gearbox yet. Um, it so far comes apart very similar to the Aries Tavor. Um, slight differences. Um, of course, the top rail comes off a little different. Um, it's all made of polymer or plastic, something. It's uh, very, very lightweight. Matter of fact, I will show you how lightweight. Um, we'll Grab the scale. Um, and uh, that top rail is uh, a tenth of a pound. Um, it's, it's rather, rather uh, cheesy feeling. Um, doesn't mean it's not strong. Um, just doesn't feel like the Aries Tavor. Um, you do have to disassemble the uh, front end, the front sight, top half of the front end uh, handguard to get the gun apart which is different um, than the Aries um, otherwise so far it looks like it's gonna come apart pretty much the same way um, and I'm gonna continue disassembling it and I'll be back in a second alright uh, we're a little further disassembled um, see some big differences um, so far um, you do have to take out the barrel in order to get the gearbox wiring out, uh, which is very, very, very long. Um, of course, because the gun's wired to the front rather than the rear like the Aries, so you'll probably lose some rate of fire um, going through all that wiring. Um, the nice thing here is the hop-up chamber is separate from the gearbox. Unlike the Aries, it's attached to it. Um, the body of the gun weighs 1.83 pounds. Um, that's the entire body of the gun. Uh, and otherwise, uh, the gearbox is definitely polymer. Um, it looks nice so far. I haven't opened it yet. Um, just got this far. Um, it looks very, very similar to the Aries right now. Um, everything appears to be uh, the same. Same design, not same quality. I'm um, going to go ahead and pull the gearbox open and see what's inside. Alright, I got the uh, dust cover off um, right now and see a bright red cylinder. Uh, it's aluminum, anodized. Um, the next thing I see is this is designed like the later Aries versions where uh, the nuts are on the back end rather than the nuts built into the gearbox. Um, I personally uh, hate when Aries change to this design. It takes a little bit longer to get the gearbox back together uh, with the nuts not being permanently mounted to the gearbox or built into the gearbox. However, the nice end of this is uh, you really don't have to worry about stripping out holes because uh, if you strip it out, you can always replace the nut or you can replace the screw. So it, it is a good design on one end and on the other it's not. 
Um, this so far does have metal bushings, uh, look like uh, stainless steel. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open it up a little bit more. Alright guys, we got the gearbox shell opened. Um, I can tell you uh, the gears have zero lube on them. Uh, the piston rails um, are lubed. This is the uh, same type switch and uh, trigger block and uh, trigger mechanism that the Ares has. Um, it has a motor that looks just like the Ares um, motor. This is one side of the gearbox shell, the other side that has uh, nothing left in it. Um, it weighs a big tenth of a pound. Um, it is uh, very, very lightweight. Um, it is nicely machined. Um, and we're going to go ahead and pull the piston out here. Uh, the piston appears to be... Uh, standard Chinese style JG piston. Um, the gears do not have any markings on them. Um, they do not look like the Aries gears to me. Um, a little bit different as far as quality goes. I'm not saying one's better than the other. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull it apart a little further. Pull out the uh, gears and pull out the cylinder and cylinder head and check uh, how the compression is and check how the shimming is. Be back in a minute. Um, got the gears out and as you can see um, the sector gear is stamped S&T so um, obviously they got the gears stamped um, with their initials in there. Um, the cylinder head um, is probably so far the first thing I would change out on this. Um, it just is a tad looser than I like on the cylinder itself. Um, so checking for compression. Compression is actually pretty good, although the cylinder head cannot handle the compression. So um, it starts to blow past the O-ring on the cylinder head just because it's so loose. Um, Otherwise, honestly, um, I think this gun is probably a, a good buy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more uh, looking around on this thing and see what I think about it. Uh, be back in a minute. Alright guys, this is the stock piston on the scale. Uh, it's coming in at 24 grams. Um, that's the stock uh, China piston and piston head. Um, now we're going to put an aftermarket piston such as the uh, Matrix or SHS full steel tooth piston with an aluminum ball bearing piston head on it and we're going to come up to 28 grams um, really not, or 27, 27, 28 it's teetering right there um, so it's really not much of a difference and uh, I would uh, much rather see a combo like this in or even throw a polycarbonate uh, piston head on there and you'll probably be about the same weight as the stock piston but with uh, the nice reinforced steel teeth. Um, I'm going to check fitment on the aftermarket piston because the uh, Ares gearbox um, that's one of the problems is that it does not accommodate an aftermarket piston without modifications to either one the piston or two, the gearbox. Um, you either have to shave the piston down a little bit in the back end or you have to mill the gearbox. Um, here at AirDog we mill the gearbox and the reason why we do that is so uh, aftermarket pistons will go in there if you ever have to change out the piston without having to have uh, somebody modify the piston for you or you do the modifications yourself. Um, looking at the gearbox, I do see here in the back end of the s &T, that it has the same um, spot that needs to be milled out on the Aries in the S&T. However, on the second end of the gearbox, um, it does not have that piece. So, we shall see what the result is if the aftermarket piston fits or does not fit. Alright, um, as you can see here, 
um, the piston is not going all the way back. It is hitting that spot, um, so you will have a problem putting in an aftermarket piston. Um, you'll either have to mill the gearbox or uh, mill the piston out some. Um, you'll see that it's probably going to slide fine over here on this other half because it's already been modified. Um, yeah, it's fine over there. So, um, guarantee there's going to have to be some work done to uh, either one, the pistons back half, or two, uh, the gearbox back here. Um, it's basically this block that's right here. Um, this piece that's the problem piece as we have the S&T Tavor put back together we're going to do some chronoing Alright guys, this is the S&T uh, TAR-21, um, weighs 4.21 pounds, we're going to get the Aries and see what the Aries weighs. Aries is seven pounds. Um, quickly, you'll see here uh, what I was talking about. The body seam is much nicer on the Aries um, compared to the S and T. Um, down here, you'll see it's just molded together much nicer. But again, you're comparing a five hundred dollar gun to a $180 gun. Okay guys, that uh, wraps up the review for the S&T uh, Tavor. Um, that was the Explorer version of the uh, S&T. Um, the gun retails for $180. We currently have the Black, uh, Dark Earth, and OD Green in stock. Um, you can purchase these on our website, um, AirDogAirsoft.com and then click on products and of course they're under the AEGs as you see here um, also do not forget to check out our new AirDog Elite t-shirts um, as you can see there basically what it looks like they come in black and OD to green um, this is the back of the shirt and that'll be on the front of the shirt um, you can also find these on our website under AirDog Elite Apparel. Thank you guys.